after a pretty underwhelming level 8, we are now in the caves. We're getting closer to hell. So much closer that our warrior actually said, It's hot in here. <laughs> Which is a very good comment since he's been hit with fireballs and everything, but the caves, they're a little bit too hot. Alright? <laughs> I hope that we are going to find some cool quests in here, because... Um, Level 8 was severely lacking in that department. Uh, first off, so if you want to see uh, the caves and everything, jump to the next timestamp because I gotta clear out some inventory space as usual. Uh, but I usually talk about some weird stuff while I do, so if you want to see it, then welcome. Come with me to town. Let's uh, check out what uh, sort of equipment we found in level 8. They better be good. Because uh, the level wasn't. <laughs> now we're gonna have a harp on and on about Stay level 8. And listen. What's the cap? Vitality. Sorry, sir. I have a better one already. Ring. Asia Ring of the Moon. Oh! Yes! Asia Ring of the freaking Moon! Resists lightning 28%, plus 7 in all attributes. Are you kidding me? That's an amazing ring. Short Staff. Fast attack. Well, I, uh, yeah, I don't know what to say. I'm not gonna use it. <laughs> it's damage two to four. Uh, great axe. Light radius. Get out of here with your light radius. It's too regular that to get it. I don't want it. Chance to hit plus twenty six. That's pretty good. That's regular gold ring. So, in real life, if I put on a gold ring, I'll have twenty six percent to hit. Or maybe it's just a really big ring so that your the circumference of your fist got larger. Technically, it would be easier to hit then, right? Maybe it's just a huge gold ring. Uh, sort of accuracy, plus 13 in dexterity. That's pretty good, but I want the damage. Resist all 60%, pretty good, but I want the damage, as I said. Let's put on that freaking ring of the moon. And we switch that with a chance to hit one. Let's check our attributes when we do. Look at them, look at them. Oh no, we're not gonna see them. All right, let's do the level up first. Strength, I want 70. Vitality, I want a little bit in that now because I don't know what I'm gonna need in the caves, but it might be the freaking poison hyenas. It's the worst. All right, so let's put on the ring and see what, boom, see that? I can even use the Axe of Radiance now, which is a horrible axe, but I could if I wanted to. Uh, na -na -na -na. We're not gonna use all this. I'm gonna sell all these rings, I guess. I think I get quite a hefty sum for the rings. Yeah. There, there. I almost pressed the escape to get out of that menu again. Greetings! Oh! It's always a pleasure to see one of my best customers. I know that you've been venturing deeper into the labyrinth. And there's a story I was told that you may find worth the time to listen to. Oh, yes, I would love to. One of the men who returned from the labyrinth told me about a mystic anvil that he came across during his escape. His description reminded me of legends I had heard in my youth. Oh, my sneeze. Burn in Hellforge. <laughs> powerful weapons of magic are crafted. A legend had it that deep within the Hellforge rested the anvil of fury. This anvil contained within it the very essence of the demonic underworld. It is said that any weapon crafted upon the burning anvil is imbued with great power. If this anvil is indeed the anvil of fury, I may be able to make you a weapon capable of defeating even the darkest lord of hell. Find the anvil for me, and I'll get to work. Jesus, I like Griswold. He's so freaking... Ah, get me that thing, because I want to kill some freaking lords of hell. Alright, so surprisingly our just uh, go up to town and dump off all our stuff resulted in a quest. Whoa, hey, hey. What can I do for you? So let's sell the stuff first. Bam, bam. An Anvil of Fury. I remember this quest as well, but I don't remember the quest reward or how you get it or anything, but I remember it because it's a cool name. This is Anvils of Fury, Chamber of Bone, Skeleton King. The Butcher. Everything has such a, like, a oomph to it. All of these quests. Uh, get out of here, all of you. Should I just go with a big heavy axe? Yeah. Yeah, I should. Let's see the damage. 3158. Yeah, why shouldn't I? 
Why shouldn't I have an axe? Huh? Well, uh, what happened if I talk to him again? Let's start there. Nothing yet, eh? Well, keep searching. A weapon falls upon the anvil. Could be your best hope. And I'm sure that I can make you one of legendary proportions. Legendary proportions. I would love to meet someone who speaks like this in real life. Just at Ika, when you want to pick. Uh, or Ika. <laughs> for, for you don't live in Sweden, that's the supermarket. Where someone would say, just get this sauce and you will make... You will make some a dish of legendary proportions. Love it. Hello, I was my so friend. hyped. Stay a while and listen. Griswold speaks of the Anvil of Fury, a legendary artifact long searched for, but never found. Crafted from the metallic bones of the Razor Pit demons, the Anvil of Fury was smelt around the skulls of the five most powerful magi of the underworld. Carved with runes of power and chaos, any weapon or armor forged upon this anvil will be immersed into the realm of chaos, embedding it with magical properties. It is said that the unpredictable nature of chaos makes it difficult to know what the outcome of this smithing will be. Oh, okay. So it might be different every time, you never know. Uh, probably different depending on what class you, are, you have. And I like that description of the Amulet of Fury. It feels like I, I feel like a few of those things Deckard Kane just made up because he wanted to make it sound cooler. Like it was forged in next to skulls of famous wizards and in the uh, blood of babies and marks of chaos. And like, okay, Kane, it's enough. I understand. It's a cool thing. I'm gonna get it either way. You don't have to hype it up more. It's calm down. Calm down. <laughs> Ooh, I noticed now, we actually have some reflections on this axe. Look at that. Actually put in, that is a really nice touch. Reflections in a game from 96, come on. Hey what Pepe. Heals you, my friend? Now first I need some full healing potions. Like three of them. And then I want to talk to you about the Amulet of Fury. If you had been looking for information on the Pestle of Curing or the Silver Chalice of Purification, I could have assisted you, my friend. However, in this matter, you would be better served to speak to either Griswold or Kane. That would be a cool thing, to not just find stuff that aided me directly, but uh, maybe if there was a bunch of sick people in town and you found a, uh, what was it, the Silver Chalice of Curing or something like that. Um, I, I, I like the idea of not only finding a bunch of loot for your own warrior, but actually finding stuff for the town that helps them. Kind of what, Farnham? Say something good. Griswold can't sell a Zamble. What will he do then? And I'd be angry too if someone took my anvil. <laughs> yeah, I yeah, think Griswold's anvil was stolen and now he's furious. <laughs> Oh, this man is the best. I love him. Greetings, good I master. Do. Welcome to the. Don't you think that Griswold would be a better person to ask about this? He's quite handy, you know. He's the one who told me about it. I can't believe. I don't know what what did Aiden say when he gave him to Og Ogdom. Like, just what do you know about the end with a fury? Or, I, I he could just told him that I came from Griswold. Oh, then I don't know, know anything. Good day. Oh, How many Griswold's father used to tell some of us when we were growing up? about a giant anvil that was used to make mighty weapons. He said that when a hammer was struck upon this anvil, the ground would shake with a great fury. Whenever the earth moves, I always remember that story. Hmm. Jillian had more to add than I expected. Okay, let's uh, check what this little shit brat has to say up in the left corner. I don't like walking over and I don't really care what he has to say, but I guess when I talk to everyone, I might as well talk to him. Just that I can get annoyed at something. <laughs> Freaking word. Psst, over here. If you were to find this artifact for Griswold, it could put a serious damper on my business here. Ah, uh, you'll never find it. Mm -hmm, I'm gonna. What you got? Love of the ages. Indestructible. I don't care. Get some better stuff for it. Your shop shop sucks. And I don't like you. If that's not clear. Is that guy I gotta go and check. Is that guy uh, still there outside of the church? 
Or is he cleaned up now? Ah, okay, okay. They've actually taken care of the body. That's good. I was thinking if the, the original victim or the butcher was still there, but... It seems like they've been doing some cleaning work while I was uh, down in the dungeons. Here there was actually supposed to be a guy. Like I saw on the game Lore Dash, that channel with the, the, the say, Diablo lore, that there was a cut character that was standing outside of here, like a sorcerer or something like that. Uh, I don't know, there seemed to be an enormous amount of cut, cut content in Diablo. Because if you look at all the quests that he has, like uh, everything they've dug up, this game was almost twice the size. I mean, not not like uh, it wasn't any new levels or anything, but quest-wise, it was an enormous amount of quests that was cut. It's uh, I don't know why they cut so much. I sense a soul in search of answer. There are many artifacts within the labyrinth that hold powers beyond the comprehension of mortals. Some of these hold fantastic power that can be used by either the light or the darkness. Securing the anvil from below could shift the course of the Sin War towards the light. She knows more about the Sin War than uh, she should. Let's, let's, let's stand next to each other. Look. These are two lovebirds right here. <laughs> these are gonna hook up! I sense a and make a little baby, and that little baby sense. is gonna be a uh, freaking Diablo. Great. The story of Diablo 3. Alright, so we uh, have the Anvil of Fury. Uh, I don't remember if that is actually found on the first level. I think that's found on the third level. So maybe we're gonna have another quest in the first, uh, first part. I'm not sure. But now we have a big ass axe. And we're gonna be killing some... Oh. That is pure luck. Pure luck, my, my hand happened to be over here to see the fungal tome. This is the famous mushroom quest, I think. Can I read it? That no. didn't do anything. That didn't do anything. You're right. That didn't do anything. I think I gotta bring this to Griswold as well. Oh well, uh, now we're gonna uh, explore the caves. Slain hero. Oh, this guy got pretty far, you know? Rest in peace, my friend. Yeah. Freaking, uh, the, uh, there's some tact on this warrior. I like it. Oh, who was that? Oh, we got some butchers. Mudman. <laughs> you had a book of mana shield? That is unexpected. I know mana shield now. Oh, I guess that makes the hit points into mana, alright. There we go. Let's drink some mana. I don't have a lot of mana, but uh, why not try it? So now, I think that uh, first our damage is going to be taken on the mana and uh, before it goes to health. Blood... Oh, ow, ow, ow. Okay, I gotta get more in dexterity because now that we have a two-handed weapon, it becomes even more important to hit. Especially down here in the caves. I don't think I could identify the problem why I was dying so much in the caves when I was a kid. But I think it is easy to identify now. There's not as many bottlenecks in here. There's mostly open ground, so it's very easy to surround to be surrounded. Uh, and I accidentally drank two portions at once. God dang it! Uh, so that mana shield didn't hold up for long. <laughs> there we go. Oh, here they are, poison spitter. These are the worst! Because you stand in this, you take damage, you see? So you kill one of them, accidentally click over them, and then you end up being surrounded on the top of a bunch of poison, and they spit! poison as well. So they hit you, it drips down on the floor, you take damage, and you're stuck. So they're like the worst of the worst to meet in these uh, places when you get surrounded. And I just switched to a double axe, uh, or a, a two-handed axe, not a double axe. Do you know the difference? I think most of you do, right? So a double axe would have a blade, let's see here, uh, would have a blade on both ends. 
Like this one has a spike and a blade. A double axe would have another blade on this side. It would look basically mirrored on both sides. And it could be one-handed or two-handed. So this is a double-handed, single-edged axe with a spike. Which I think it makes the most sense. Double double bladed axe never made, made much much sense to me. Up to town. Oh, oh I'm sorry. Uh, quick uh, quick break there because uh, I I need to go and check this uh, fungal tome thing. Who do I bring this to? Kane, I guess. Kane, I found the moldy old book. You want it? Hello, my friend. Stay a while no. and listen. That didn't do anything. Was it Griswold that does the mushroom quest? I think it is, so... Well, what can I do for you? No. Adria? I guess I'm gonna cut this. If uh, no one wants to talk to me about it. Adria! You know this book? What do we have here? Mm. Interesting. It looks like a book of reagents. Keep your eyes open for a black mushroom. It should be fairly large and easy to identify. If you find it, bring it to me, won't you? I will. It's a big black mushroom that I need. Now run off and get it for me so that I can use it for a special concoction that I am working on. Oh, very I good. I sense a soul in search. It's a big... Okay, 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 okay. I get it, I get it. I'm gonna get the big, big black mushroom. You took the book to... Didn't even ask. Just snatched it from me. That witch. Well, I'm sorry, but I guess we're gonna have to walk around and talk to everyone about the uh, of the big black mushroom. I'm not gonna not talk to anyone uh, to everyone about it. I want to know. And it also, that quest reappears in Diablo Three, I think. You do it again, but it's like Can a jokey quest. Thank you, peace. Ogden Mitz is a mean black mushroom, but I get sick of a drink of that. Listen, listen. Here's the secret. Moderation is the key. Yeah, 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 you're right. You're right, Farnham. And I didn't know you guys were tripping on mushrooms over here. Maybe that can explain a lot about, about the demon sightings and everything. Maybe we all are just tripping. Deckard, what Hello, do you have to say about that? friend. Mushroom. The witch, Adria, seeks a black mushroom? I know as much about black mushrooms as I do about red herrings. Hmm. Perhaps Pepin the healer could tell you more. But this is something that cannot be found in any of my stories or books. Son, you should read up on red herrings. It's actually good. Well, what can I oh, do? Oh yeah, that's a speech thing, right? A red herring is like a, you bait someone when you're talking. It's like a rhetorical thing you can do to people to trap them. I think you use in politics a lot. Like, oh, that's a red herring. I don't re exactly know what it means, though. If Adria doesn't have one of these. Ah, you can bet that's a rare thing indeed. I can offer you no more help than that. But that sounds like a... Oh, a huge, gargantuan, swollen, bloated mushroom. Well, good hunting, I suppose. <laughs> I remember that this also comes up in, uh, I think, StarCraft. When you click on the battle cruiser, or if it, there's some ship you click on a lot of times and you hear like them picking up signals from Earth or from from a different world, from Sanctuary, I guess. And you hear Griswold when he says exactly this thing, talking about the big mushroom. Griswold, what a what a freaking king! Greetings, good master. God among men. Of the ride, let me just say this: both Garda and I would never, ever serve black mushrooms to our honored guests. If Adria wants some mushrooms in her stew, then that is her business. But I can't help you find any black mushrooms. Disgusting. Jesus, what does it have against black mushrooms? Freaking. Ogden is a mushroom racist. I only serve white what mushrooms my in friend? my tavern. <laughs> you don't want to talk about the mushroom? Pepin? The healer? What? I thought he would have the most to say. I mean, it's a concoction to make a potion, and he's the healer. Good day. How may I serve you? I think Ogden might have some mushrooms in the storage cellar. Why don't you ask him? 
Oh, that's why I got angry. We were supposed to talk to Jillian first. And he would go, what? I don't have mushrooms in my cellar. You're implying that I fall below the line of the health organization? <laughs> Ogden is afraid that the fantasy council of uh, Sanctuary oh, will shut him down. <laughs> I don't have any mushrooms of any size or color for sale. How about something a bit more useful? Yeah, like a freaking sword through the chest. Your chest. Over here. Stop away, just still. Oh, and I'm paying 50 every time I look at it. Oh, I should have identified this. I need to. It's armor 21 though. Oh, it's great. I'm going back in there. Let's kill some poison hyenas. And butchers. Ooh, and we got two quests. Hmm. Which one is it gonna be? Oh, we're gonna find the anvil. Oh, ow! Or we're gonna find the uh, mushroom. I gotta be real careful with my mouth here because I have a hard time seeing things in this game. It's just pure luck that I saw that book. Oh, that you see there? Boom. It creates a freaking pile of poison. And you gotta be careful when you click now, so you don't click on someone that is like one step away from you, because then you take one step in front like that, take damage, don't wanna step on that stuff. They're like a mix of a hyena and a alien from Alien. <laughs> alien, from Alien. From the movie Alien, or Alien, so Alien 3, or Alien vs. Reckon, or Alien vs. Predator, or Alien vs. Predator 2, or Alien vs. Predator Requiem, or uh, Covenant, uh, no. Prometheus, or Alien Covenant. Covenant. That was all I think. All Alien movies. I hope that that's it, because I don't... Otherwise I missed one. Oh, Jesus! These guys are, guys are actually dangerous now. There was such a freaking cakewalk in the catacombs. Maybe I've overestimated myself. I hope I did not walk into my doom. I was just trying to do an over dramatic Diablo 3 voice. Oh no! I'm gonna sneeze again. Oh. No. Oh, I went back in. Oh, I hate when it does that. Did you come out, sneeze? Last time I sneezed, I sneezed once. There's always two in there. So there is one sneeze that is just waiting to get out. Blood claw, you can die. Oh, no, black ones. But these guys are pretty good because you can just walk away from them and they actually leave you alone. So, I'm not terribly concerned about these guys, except if I'm hunted by someone else and happen to run into like a wall of these. It's not good. And it's a little bit of pain of, to explore these um, caves. It's easy to explore the catacombs or. Uh, or the initial cathedral dungeon. It's nice to be able to just kill these busher demons now. Because you ain't shit. You hear that? You blue... Fake butcher. I killed your daddy upstairs. <laughs> you ain't got nothing. Nothing on me. You guys don't even know how to hold an axe. He did. And I killed him when back when I was level, I think, 5 or 4. I'm 17 now. You guys mess with the wrong guy. Oh, I killed that guy first. Oh, we have somewhat of a bottleneck. Good work. Oh, snap. No, 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 no. They're actually surrounding you. Oh, no, 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 no. No, no. No, no, no. Oh, I managed to get out. Okay. Let's get in here. Okay, now I actually need to apply a little bit of tactics. Hit him. It is a little bit of a like an anguish when they die. Ooh, I feel a little bit sorry for them, to be honest. Infravision. This is supposed to make me see through walls. But uh, oh, there we go. You see these red guys? Yeah. That's what infravision does. Haha! <laughs> You're lying in wait for me? Mm-hmm. 
gonna work. I only got three potions left though. I'm a little bit concerned about this. Ow. Chainmail. Gold. Golden chains. Oh, Jesus. I only have two health potions left. Not good. There we go. We can do a little bit of healing like that. I'm happy I learned the healing spells. Uh, like I said, these uh, caves are a little bit tricky to explore. Since they don't have any clear walls or dead ends and all that. It's easier to just see on the map if you explore everything. Because now I'm just doing, I'm doing all the corners and then going back into the middle. And, uh, and see if there's something I missed there. So... First, I just want to check the edges of everything. Time for it, we can be over there. It's better. I should go back up and get some more potions. But you know how fun that is? Not fun at all. I, I get like a... My 11-year-old self is... Cringing when I hear that. <laughs> they shoot their freaking poison. Oh, ring! I do a pretty good poison uh, hyena sound. Wash, wash, win, win. I don't even know what's up that now. Oh, jeez. Oh, I can't believe I'm sitting uh, alone in my room just making myself laugh. Anyway, it's a, it's a good thing, I guess. It's a, the sign of being an absolute idiot or uh, having a good time. <laughs> Which I guess is the same thing. Um, Alright, but the question is where... So we... Oh, there it is! Look! Look at that. I can zoom now. Ooh. Mushroom patch. Whoa. Did, did my hero say that? Whoa. <laughs> did, uh, did the warrior become a surfer dude? Whoa. That's large no, that's one big mushroom. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it takes up four spaces there, which is the same as a hell, so... Yeah. And he said before... He's a... Oh, I guess the hero could be a character in uh, Point Break as well. Wow. That's one large mushroom, dude. <laughs> I'm gonna kill these guys and then I'm gonna bring the mushroom to Adrian. And here we go. Like, now I do the, all the edges, it's time to check out what's behind all this lava in the middle. I think I'm scared of you just because I have only two portions. Well, you're right. I am a little bit. A little bit. Not a lot. Oh! What the hell? I was itching in my nose and now all of a sudden... I was almost dead. Oh, I think that was it. Yeah. This is the big uh, lava lake in the middle. So we're going back up to town and we're going to use the stairs because I don't want to use the scroll because that would be a waste of money and effort. There, let's talk to Deckard Kane. Can we show him the mushroom now? Like, Hello, hey, you see my this? friend, the witch Adria. No, we can't. Let's identify though. Ring. Faster hit recovery. Nah. Breastplate. Hit points 29. Pretty good, but mine is better. Damage targets armor. I don't even know what armor the targets have. I don't care. They die in one hit anyway. Staff of Swiftness. Already have one of those. 40 light radius. All of them sucked. God dang it. I feel like our inventory is getting full of a bunch of useless stuff. Let's get rid of all this. No, not all this money. That pile we can keep. All the 5,000. Get out of here. We have too many town portals. Don't need all of them. I just want to make sure that I don't have to do as many trips to town all the time. Healing, town portal, town portal. Three in inventory is pretty okay. And then we have the initial pile of gold there. So we have 25k. I think this gives me a potion now that increases all my attributes by one. Because this was a... 
Back in the day, uh, when you learned the art of duping, this was the po uh, potion to get. Because you could just dupe this po- If you know, don't know what duping is, uh, maybe it still works. Let's see. If I wanted to, for example, you see the staff here. I throw it out on the ground, and then... I go and pick it up, and at the same time as I pick it up, you see, when you pick it up like this, it just goes into in inventory, right? It's there. But if you open your, oh, here we go. If you open your inventory and pick it up, then you get it in your mouse like this. So if you click on it, when it's, I don't know if I can do this, but if you click on it and then open the inventory and then you click on a, no, you click on exactly when you pick it up, then both become a staff. Let's see. This is how, how you saw everyone on the internet doing. They're trying to dupe something. No, I'm doing it too early. Come on, come on. Anyway, that would uh, initially make it so that uh, I had uh, two staffs instead of the healing potion. So then you would just make hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of these potions that I'm gonna get now. Yes. This will be perfect for a brew that I am creating. By the way, the healer is looking for the brain of some demon or another so he can treat those who have been afflicted by their poisonous venom. I believe that he intends to make an elixir from it. If you help him find what he needs, please see if you can get a sample of the elixir for me. Okay. We didn't get it now, but uh, I think that elixir she's talking about gives you plus one in all attributes. So you can just dupe it over and over and over and over again. And, uh, yeah. You can just uh, level up. Pretty cool. You can make yourself so you have a uh, hundred in all att attributes at level one if you wanted to. Uh, but, uh, I mean, very much cheating. Let's, uh, let's take this quest and then... You know what? We're gonna do this instead. Uh, we have the way down to the caves. Next, on the next part, I will talk to Pippin, and I will go down in the caves, and we'll be looking for this brain of this creature to see if we can find one. Uh, awesome to have you here. Like the video if you did like it. Unnecessary to do it if you didn't. Uh, subscribe, uh, hit the little bell, and uh, you'll see when I upload the next video. And thank you so much for being here. I really appreciate it. And remember, if you like uh, have any questions or have any uh, thoughts uh, during the time you're watching it, please leave a comment or something, because uh, I always look at the comments, so if uh, something shows up, I'll I mean, there's no comments on my videos at the moment, so if something shows up there, I'll be sure to see it, uh, and I'll uh, get back to you. Uh, but, with that said, thank you so much for being here. See you in the next episode.